Today's video is brought to you by Audible. Get your free audiobook download and 30 day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash magstv or click the link in the video description down below. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to the long dark with mags and welcome back to the cave. I don't actually really have a better name for it than this. This is the first shelter we've actually found since leaving the crash site. But we can't stay here, we have to move on. However, there is a couple of things that I'm going to need first. I'm setting up this campfire at the moment, basically so I can just burn a few chunks of wood and actually pull a few torches out of it, just in case I need them. Even though it should be daylight hours outside at the moment, it doesn't necessarily mean it's... pick that up. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be warm. So, at the very least, having a couple of torches available will guarantee that I have at least some form of heat while I'm moving around outside and heading towards the next location. Now, in this cave we found, if you recall from the last video, a small note that indicates that the person who died in this cave that we uh, took a load of supplies from seems to have... How do I put this away? Extinguish that one. Okay. Um, I'll just suck the stone. That'll allow me to do that. Now, hopefully. Another stick. And we can take the torch. Beautiful. Stick a stick in, and we get an extra torch out of this. That's going to die, but that's perfectly fine. Um, now, we found a note inside of this cave, and the note indicated that the person who died here had come from an old church, and that the people that they were with uh, had turned back to try and make it to that church. So, at this point, I'm pretty sure that's where we're supposed to be going next. Uh, that'll be the burned out torch from yesterday, I reckon. Okay, so, at this point, let's head up and out of this cave. Okay, and back outside, it looks like we're in the early morning, we've got a bit of a pink sky. So, I think we timed it up right. Wolves, avoid if you can. Wolves are not dogs, and out here they are very dangerous. They normally avoid humans. But do you want to take the chance? Like most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I've had to deal with wolves before, so... Oh, shit. Pick that up, quick. Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, toss it off again. Okay, that worked. Now, we do have a deer carcass here, but I think I'll skip harvesting it. It'll actually take time to cut the meat out of it. And it is very early morning and very cold here at the moment. I'm likely to freeze to death in the process of trying to get the meat. And I'm only just at the start of the journey. So I'm loaded up on food and water. I don't really need it at this point. I'll hopefully encounter... Gotcha. Hopefully I'll encounter some more supplies somewhere between now and the next place I can rest. And there's the wolf that's going to turn back on me again, so... Close. Oh, too close. Come on, come on, come on. Well, oh, that's got him to go away at least. Uh, bandages, craft them to stop bleeding. Yeah, I've already got bandages available. Yeah, let's fix that up. Okay, so that didn't quite work the plan, but there's no wolf down there now, so it's obviously ran down around the corner, and we're going to go this way. Because there are cars and a bridge. another wolf. Um. Oh, freeze that one in this dead. Um, 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 new torch, light. Light, 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 light. 
All right. Bugger off. Okay, so we got past there. Wood. Try and grab that. Cedar. Excellent. Actually, we should probably start taking a look in these cars. There might be stuff inside of them. Uh, take shelter cars. Yeah, but you can hide inside the cars from cold and you can hide inside the cars from the creatures. Uh, nothing in the glove box. Here, yeah, radio doesn't function, so I don't need to worry about that. It's not much in the utes. Okay, try this one. What have we got in here? I think I can use this. Cool, matches. Um, check back seat. And nothing here. That's locked. Torch is out. Didn't actually mean to put that out, but that's fine. Um, nothing in the glove box. Check the back seat. And it looks like nothing else in here, so let's head back down the line. Got this green one here. Gonna open the hood. Oh, what do we got in here? Uh, looks like a battery would be removable on some cars, but it's not removable on this one. Um, nothing in the glove box. Getting cold again. Check the rear. Oh, we have some gloves. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so wearing ragged fleece mittens, plus one degree C, 5% uh, wet, alright, zero, plus zero one. Okay, so what I've got on is actually the better choice now. And while we're at it, we'll just have a quick look through what I do have at the moment. Most of my clothing is knackered, but, um, yeah. Oh, shit. Friggin' mutt. Alright, torch is lit, so we've got something else to try and get rid of this thing. Uh, now we've got to check out this rest of this car for stuff. Uh, newspaper. Okay, and nothing. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let me check this shoot. My health is nearly knackered right now. Two wolf attacks. Problem is I can't light a fire inside of the cars, so I cannot get warm outside of the speed that the car will allow you to generate heat. So they're, they're great as a I'm in trouble, I need to save my ass right now thing, but terrible when it comes to uh, any kind of major survivability. So Damn. I'm freezing. Let me risk it. Um Yeah. What we need right now is actual shelter, something with four walls and a roof that's either warm on its own or has a place where I can actually set up a fire of my own. Orange soda, I'll take that. The health just slid into the red and I get the heartbeat going in the background. We're still early morning at this point. 
in the, in the beaches. I should get my water and my food up a little, but I don't think I'm going to regain health unless I get somewhere where I can actually rest. And that's a problem at the moment, because the weather is kind of going to shit. Oh, um, this, is, this is a little trippy. I'm sort of starting to stagger a little bit here. My vision's blurring out. Um... Yeah, up here might have to do. It looks like you got a bit of an overhang and it seems to be out of the weather just up here. So if I can lay down a fire, start fixing my heat problem, so I'm freezing to death at the moment, and then actually throw down the bedroll and have some sleep. It's not an ideal place, but it might get me kicking along again. Okay, so the coal's got us up to three and a half hours of fire time at 37 degrees, so... That should fix our heat problems, at least get us out of the hypothermia risk. If I throw down a bedroll, it's still following Astrid. Perfection bite. So we can try that. That fixes up that one and take antibiotics. It's not really going to do anything, it's a spray and race soon. Damn it. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think that was going to have a uh, antiseptic, it's not going to do anything there. I think that's just going to have to stay as it is. Uh, food, water, yeah. We'll uh, save that. Bed roll out and grab a couple of hours. I don't particularly want to sleep here, but um, I think it's going to be the only way I survive this. Well, two hours of sleep is all it took to fix up my sprained wrist, so that's all of my afflictions handled at the moment. Unfortunately, I didn't regen any health. So I'll pop this can for the moment. My heat's on full. Now 23 minutes. Yeah, everything's all good, all right. I'm gonna take a torch and I'm gonna put that torch out. So I've got one that I can quickly relight. really wish I could remember the button to actually put away whatever I'm holding. And now we have a second torch. And let's go. At this point, if I meet a wolf or anything hostile at any point for the rest of this trip until I can find an actual building to set up shop inside of, um, I'm dead. There is no way known I'm going to be completing this. So yeah, anyways, we're trying to chase down either the ex-wife or the ex-lover that convinced us to fly out in this god-awful storm over this area. That is a wolf. It's over there eating rabbits from the look of it, so we're just going to go over this way and go around the side, because I'm not in the mood to put up with their shit. You stay over there. But yeah, let, let's just do a recap of what the ex-wife or ex-lover or whatever she was in relation to your character actually has done at this point. She's managed to use your history to convince you to fly out your light aircraft into a incredibly bad storm against your better judgment to deliver her and a suitcase that she's carrying to a extremely remote area. You've crashed as a result of flying through that storm. The case she was carrying that she was desperate to deliver up here, she abandoned in the crash along with you. You don't know what's inside of it because it's locked, but you're now carrying it. Or we're now carrying it, rather. She has run off and left you injured and potentially in a situation where you could die without rendering any help. And now we've managed to screw ourselves back together and actually get on the road heading back towards civilization 
Our first mission objective is to try and find and help this person. Why? Everything that has happened that has been bad in this game up until this point has been a direct result of her actions. I am really curious why we are now on a mission to try and find her and help her in any way. Okay, so this is looking promising. Um, nothing out here looks going to be lit. We do have a little wooden footpath thingy. We have some boards around the area. None of this looks like it's resources that we can harvest. Uh, looks like we can sit on the bench. Doesn't appear to be anything in anything else. Yeah, we're running out of heat here. Let's get inside. Now, the catch here is that this kind of a building, we're probably not going to be able to light a fire inside of unless there is something to put the fire in already inside. Ooh, first aid kit. Disinfectant. That's it. Okay. We have beds at the end of the hall. Feels like one degree, air temperature is negative three, wind chill is zero. I've seen worse places that we could potentially stay at for a while. Newsprint, always grab the stuff that I can use to start fires with. More cloth for doing repairs, a pair of socks, that might be useful. And a jerry can, accelerant, yeah, we'll take that. And that seems to be about... Oh wait, metal container here at the end. Oh, beef jerky, it's stale, but we'll take it. And some water purification tablets, all right. Um, what now? Oh, that's, that's looking good. Water bottle. And that's it for the shelves. Okay, so we have a bed in here. And it doesn't look like we've got anywhere where we can light a fire. And we can't just set a campfire on the floor here, which is fine. Um, good for water. Medical. No maps yet. All right, so gear. These are slightly damp. Put on that set of trousers. Uh, nothing in the underwear. 13% wet. Put them on two. It's still going to add plus zero three degrees. I just wear the two pairs of pants. We've got two pairs of socks on plus zero one. Plus zero two, and that's in a layer. They're both in the layers. Let's get zero two. Alright, so we put those ones on, they're going to be warmer. And... lit. So, 12 hours sleep has put me... Looks like just after midnight. And that is sounding like a storm outside. We'll quickly break that down. Uh, that was probably not such a great idea because I've just completely wasted the light from this torch. <sighs> yep, yeah, it's cactus. Alright, so that was really, really, really dumb of me to do that. That's alright, we'll go outside and see what's about. Negative 30. Snow, wind, pitch black, zero visibility, 
or near zero visibility, and negative 30. Fuck that for a joke, I'm going back to bed. So, it looks like we slept in till just about midday. And that does look like all of our water stores are gone. So we're now out of food and out of water. This is... I'm not going to lie, a small problem. Although the water's easy enough to come by, but it means stopping outside. I really hope most of that blizzard is gone. God, what I wouldn't give for a rifle or a bow or something so I could drop that, um, that deer over in the background. That would solve all my food problems. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is head downhill. We, we headed uphill in order to find that shack, but... Going up the side of a mountain when we're out of food and out of water just seems like a bad idea. Anything that's worth anything is going to be lower down this mountain, so... Just get around these rocks. It should drop us back down to the low road that we could have taken from the fork. I'm glad we didn't, because we've got some of our health back now and we're in a much healthier position. We can actually move forward, but... road is cactus. Trees all over the place. This place is done up like it's been abandoned or broken for a hell of a lot longer and hello that is a church. Alright so this was the right choice to come down this way. That's the church of... and that is a wolf. Um... I have nothing that I can make fire with at the moment. I don't have any torches. I'm going to have to backtrack up this mountain and place a campfire and make a few torches. Okay, so where the hell is this wolf? There it is. Now if we can spook it off, we can actually harvest this deer. Run, you bastard. Church looks like it could be a good shelter. Let's put that out so we don't want to waste it. Now, this is going to cost me a lot of my heat, but I want to gather everything that we've got here and take it all. I can use the meat to feed myself. And I can just melt some snow for more water. Yeah, now I'm starving and I am freezing cold. I'll relight this torch for a little bit of heat. I've got the opportunity to do so. Oh, hello, flares. Nothing in the glove compartment. Can't feel my feet. Yeah, I'll be sorting that out in a minute. Just don't dive hypothermia just yet. It's fine. Ah, boots unlocked. What have we got in here? More flares. This is what I am. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, these will last longer and I can just carry them run into an emergency, I can use them. Um, yeah, I want to search around the outside of the church, but right now I need so to hungry. fix myself. Newspaper. Books. Just generic books, nothing particularly special about them. Like a beanie, and we've got some fleece mittens, so we can actually do some gear upgrades in here, which is fantastic. And we have a burned out campfire. Planks, okay. We'll use the torch as our starter, tinder plug, book for the fuel, that shouldn't be a problem at all. At least it shouldn't be. Come on, start. I've had pretty good luck with my fires all so far, I've only had one fail.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Perfect. That did it. Um, we won't stick any coal in it, but we'll dump some of these sticks that I'm carrying about at this point. It looks like I'm, half my clothes are frozen or wet. Put that out so we can save it. Um, 41% wet. Still plus one C. Plus three, we'll definitely put those on. Much better idea. Boots are soaked, but socks aren't. Yeah. If we just take off those pants. I'll stick to everything else for the moment. I'm yeah. Gotta work out exactly how to dry out these clothes. Now, food. Melt snow. Let's start with water. We'll melt just a litre of water. Or a litre of snow, rather. And we can go to... Add some coal. That'll get the fire kicked in the ass and lasting for a bit longer. Now, purify water. Use the purifica uh, purification tablets that we found. It's a bit faster, it wastes less of our, the heat from the fire that we sort of need. So now we've got that, and we can cook up this venison. It's not exactly going to be the nicest venison out, but it should keep us alive. Eat. I'd better find some water. Yeah, I'll have that covered in a second. And it looks like these two may actually be enough to get our food. We're not quite full. Water's good. We've got plenty of materials here that we can use. Okay, so we've got a hymn. Most of this is in Latin, uh, English. Day of wrath and boom in, uh, doom impeding. David's word with sickles blending. Heaven and earth and ashes ending. Uh, it's an apocalypse hymn. All right, fair enough. So what else do we have inside this church? We some reclaimed wood. Uh, matches, we'll definitely grab some of those, grab all the books. Ah. God damn it, this, this stone. Ah, reclaimed wood. Right, so we've got a bed down there from the looks of things. And just a whole bunch of broken stuff. Oh, granola bar. We'll take that. All right, so at this point, the church seems to be our first destination. We, outside of it being a shelter, water bottle, newsprint roll, books, 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 with the flare. We'll take the flare. Um, I don't see any other reason to have come here. Pastor's note. Or pastor's note. Dear parishioners, it is with heavy heart that I inform you that the uh, division would draw me to, to lack of activity. Although I've never more than a few in recent years to the church. So the, the pastor got called out of the church, which is why it's abandoned. Henceforth, services will be available by Skype only. Okay, so, yeah, not really hugely important information there. At least I don't think so. Nothing hanging. Now that looks like 
like about everything at this point. Well, at this point, I'm probably going to stoke this fire up with some of these books. Or some cloth and some accelerant, we'll take that. And grab some rest in order to build up the rest of my health before we move on down the road. But that will continue in the next video. Until next time, as always, if you'd like to check out the sponsor for my channel, check out Audible in the video description down below. One free audiobook of your choice and a 30-day free trial. And if you'd like to help support the channel directly, links to my Patreon are in the video description down below as well. Until next time, everyone, click that like button if you do subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, take care.